Okay, I wanted to do a um, the, to show you that IBM video. Uh, that's actually an older video. However, I believe it uh, is very prophetic. Um, the scripture tells us that one day, and this is not simply conjecture or opinion, that one day we will enter a period of time where in order to participate in society, uh, buying and selling, holding a job, having a bank account, just normal everyday living, you will need to receive a mark in your right hand or in your forehead. Otherwise, you will not be able to do these things. I wanted to read you um, a couple of articles, one of which I found was interesting here. Uh, it's, it's a health article. Um, and it says here, why you're probably getting a microchip implant someday. And this is from The Atlantic, theatlantic.com. And it's a health article. And in this article, they're talking about how doctors will be able to use microchip implants to better uh, track you, how your medication is behaving within you. As a matter of fact, we even have things called smart pills which you can swallow and the pill will then give back feedback on certain um, organs in your body or how the medication, is, how your body is responding to the medication. Anyway, uh, so this is not merely sci-fi, this is happening. Uh, this article from The Atlantic says, why you're probably getting a microchip implant someday. And um, I'll leave a link to this. It says here, microchip implants are going from tech geek novelty to genuine health tool. And you might be running out of good reasons to say no. And this came out on September 21st, 2018. The scripture tells us in Revelation that he, meaning the New World Order beast system, causes all to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Otherwise, they cannot buy or sell. Notice this wording here that uh, you might be running out of a good reason to say no. And the word used in scripture is cause, not forces. And this is my opinion, but to cause all is no different than to say, hey, society is going this way. If you want to participate, this is the natural flow of events. If you want to buy and sell, purchase groceries, make a normal living, you're going to have to get, you're going to have to get this uh, uh, microchip implant. Uh, or maybe an electronic tattoo or something. This is the way society is going. It is no different, my friends, than if I said, well, I want television reception, but the cable company tells me, well, the only way you're going to get it is to subscribe to our cable service or maybe our satellite television. That is the only way you're going to get it. If, I'm not going to force you to take satellite or cable, but if you want television, this is what you have to do. So notice the grammar in the scriptures. He causes all, or the New World Order causes all to go this way. Uh, buying and selling, having a job, having a bank account will naturally go that way, that if you want to participate in these things in normal everyday life, you will have to have either an implantable microchip or maybe an electronic tag of some sort. So what this article is saying here is you probably will be getting a microchip implant someday or people will have to do this in order to participate in society. And it's saying here that you're running out of a good reason to say no. Uh, this is from theatlantic.com. I wanted to show you an article as well from my own state, um, a lawmaker is uh, proposing, and this is in uh, governmenttech.com. It says, Maryland lawmaker takes aim at mandatory microchipping. So there have been talk in my state of uh, mandatory microchipping. As a matter of fact, about five years ago, parents rose up against an elementary school in my community because they wanted the children to place their hand on a palm scanner in order to purchase lunch. Uh, so Enough parents rose up and um, protested against this, and they backed down. However, they didn't want to. Um, but Maryland lawmakers have been wanting, uh, I'm sorry, Maryland uh, companies, Maryland employers have been wanting in my state to start mandatory microchipping so they could enter office buildings and such. Uh, all over the country, there are other states that you can look up that are microchipping their employees, making it easier for their employees to get paid or get into a building, log into their computers, what have you. Um, I have a brother that uh, I know that subscribes to this channel. He lives in Sweden. Um, he has uh, emailed me and told me there are signs and store windows in Sweden saying that no cash is allowed. So they're forcing cash out apparently in Sweden and causing you to have to go that way where if you want to buy or sell, you have to go cashless. So, um, but I'll put a link to this, but this is Maryland lawmaker takes aim at mandatory microchipping. Um, I'll show you this title here. Um, and this is my state. 
It says one state legislator has proposed a bill that would prevent employers and state government from requiring or coercing anyone to be implanted with an identification device. So I applaud what this man is doing, but eventually it will go this way, according to scripture. And at the very bottom of this article, um, it says here, all right, uh, let me see here, let me see. Um, as of the start of this year, several U.S. states, including California, Missouri, North Dakota, Oklahoma, and Wisconsin, have prohibited the mandatory implantation of microchips. If Young's proposal is passed into law, it would allow someone who was mandatorily implanted to sue those responsible, leaving them to face a civil penalty, penalty up to $10,000 plus an additional $1,000 for each day the chip remains implanted. Uh, it says nothing on the bill stops someone from being voluntarily microchipped. So you could go into any doctor's office now and ask to be implanted with an RFID microchip and no one's going to decline that. But eventually, according to scripture, it will go this way. Right now, there are people rising up against this, but we are going to a cashless society, scripture says, where in order to buy or sell or be a part of everyday life, you will be caused to receive a mark in your right hand or forehead. Um, it says a similar bill in Maryland was voted down by the House Economic Matters Committee in 2008. So Maryland has had other um, uh, representatives present this bill to the House Economic Matters Committee in 2008, trying to block the implementation of microchipping for employees in the state, um, as well as companies doing that and everything else. Uh, however, it was turned down, which I find interesting. Um, so this bill... Um, doesn't hold high hopes. Uh, as a matter of fact, in this article, this person says that because it was turned down in 2008, it could very well go that way this time. But I found it was interesting that the Atlantic said, you're running out of excuses not to be microchipped. The society is going that way, whether you like it or not. So they're not forcing you, but they are causing you to go that way. Exactly as scripture states, uh, Maryland lawmaker takes aim at mandatory microchipping. So I thank the Lord for people that are rising up and trying to take a stand about this. However, it'll only last so long. Scripture does prophesy that we will go to a cashless society. And we are told in God's word to have nothing to do with connecting our physical bodies to the financial grid of the new world order system. God bless. Thanks for listening.